Lori. Welcome to the Healthy Families MIS training series. During this video, we will be exploring the report catalog. We are using a test site, so all the information you will see going forward is fake. The report catalog can be accessed on the toolbar after logging into the MIS. There are currently 122 reports, but this number is always changing to accommodate HFA requirements or program needs. There are several methods for accessing a desired report. The reports can be filtered by clicking on any of these headings. You can also go directly to you or your program's most recently or most frequently run reports. The number of reports listed on the report catalog's main page can be changed by selecting an option under this drop-down arrow. And the search box on the right can quickly pull a report by simply typing in a keyword or the name of the preferred report. All the columns can be sorted by clicking on these gray arrows. When a report meets a specific HFA best practice standard requirement, the number of the BPS is listed in the report name. The info icon will provide a short report description. The paper icon will bring up a separate document that shows exactly how the data is being extracted from the MIS to the report. To run a report, click on the report name. The report criteria shows on the right. The report extracts data based on the criteria entered. Depending on the report, the criteria can be different. For this report, the data is being pulled based on the dates entered here. On other reports, the data is based on the worker's name or even a case number. Site and case filters will be addressed in another training video, but these are very helpful when reporting specific data to agencies and funders. Make sure the criteria is correct before clicking on the Run Report button. This is the active case list report for our test site, Pine Valley. We can see the number of pages of the report and can view each page by clicking the arrows here. This is a toggle button. Clicking it will quickly make a multiple page report completely viewable on the first page of your report by scrolling with your mouse. You can change the zoom level of the report by selecting a page view option or by clicking the plus and minus buttons. The reports can be exported in a number of different ways shown here. Names, case numbers, keywords can easily be searched by clicking on the search button. And this final button will convert your report to a full screen. The headings on the reports look basically the same. Each will show the name of the program and the report name. If there are specific dates for which the data was pulled, they will appear here, as will any case or site filters used in the report criteria. The headings are visible on each page of a multiple page report. The report criteria can be changed here and a new report will be run when the refresh report button is clicked. You can return to the report catalog by clicking the return to catalog button. This is the end of our overview of the report catalog. We hope it has been helpful and we hope to see you next time. Thanks for viewing our video. Take care.